أعوذ بالله سميع العلم من الشيطان الرجيم من همزه ونفكه ونفسي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نعمده ونستهينه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتون الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق من زوجها وباس منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء وتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا اما بعد ايها اخوه العقيده والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us another opportunity today to observe our salat subi in conversation may he accept it from us as an act of ibada and inshallah we are going to continue from where we stopped in our tafsir yesterday inshallah the almighty allah make it is for us and accept it from us as an act of ibada so wa وَإِذَا لَقُوا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قَالُوا آمَنَّا وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ قَالُوا إِنَّا مَعَكُمْ إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْتَهْزِئُونَ اللَّهُ يَسْتَهْزِئُ بِهِمْ وَيَمُدُّهُمْ فِي طُغْيَانِهِمْ يَعْمَهُونَ أولئك الذين اشتروا الضلالات بالهدى فما ربحت تجارتهم وما كانوا مهتدين طيب اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واذا على كل الذين امنوا قالوا امنا وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا كُمْ إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْتَهْزِئُونَ اللَّهُ يَسْتَهْزِئُ بِهِمْ وَيَمُدُّهُمْ فِي طُغْيَانِهِمْ يَعْمَهُونَ أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ اشْتَرَوُا الضَّلَالَةَ بِالْهُدَى فَمَا رَبِحَت تِجَارَتُهُمْ وَمَا كَانُوا مُهْتَدِينَ نَعَمْ إِذْ يَأْتِي رِبَوْتَدْ دَت مُوسَى أَدُوس بِيبُل During the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam they really trouble and pressure Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to see that the Islam you know is not be established in the city of Makkah and Medina then Allah is continue to speak about them in the Quran to enlighten us with the believers and to know how we should prepare ourselves so that we not be like those people that give a challenge to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Allah said wa idha laku ya'ni al-munafiqun al-munafiqin whenever they said alladhina amanu when they say to those that believe ya'ni abakar wa sahabu whenever they say to them the munafiq when the believers speak to the uh, munafiq that is the hypocrites that amanu come and believe Abu Bakr and his companions his followers whenever they cancel whenever they admonish whenever they advise you know the kufar that they should come and believe in Allah what would they say qalu amanna they said certainly undoubtedly we believe yani fi sirri wa sarakana bi imanina kama amantu lahu you know fi sirr wa sarantu bihi they said come and believe just like the way we believe they said certainly we believe wa idha la kullu ladina am wa idha la kullu ladina amanu qalu amanna whenever they call them or they speak to them 
they advise them that is Abakar and his group that they should believe in Allah just like the way they believe. And they said, certainly we believe. Whenever they return, yani Roja ila shayatinihim. Whenever they have returned back to their group of, you know, shaitan, that is the group of their evil, evil activities. That is when they have returned back to the, their, you know, their gathering, where the mockery and discourse, making jest of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his uh, companions. Yani, kuntum war, kuntum war hasahim. Wahum Khamsun Nafra. They and their shamans, their leaders. You know, there are five of them that happen to be their leaders. You know, they will gather themselves, they will be laughing that Rasulullah did not know and his companions, they don't know that you are not actually you know following them. And they are Kab ibn Ashraf, Bil Madina, and Wabu Bardat al Aslami, Fi Bani Aslam. And wa ibn Sauda'a Bisham. He's also from Sham. Wa Abu Dar, wa Abu Dari fi Jihan. Wa Afu ibn Amar fi Bani Amar. Kalu da'u nansin li rusaihim. That is with their, his, his uh, leaders and their shaman. Inna ma'akum. They said, certainly, we are with you people. Which means after they have gone to their own evil meeting that they have discussed, they said, don't worry, we will go to him and say they will believe in him. We comply, we concur with whatever he is going to say. Don't worry. You know, this is what is common. Even during our time today, you see people say they are Muslim, okay, claim that they are following Muslims, but automatically they are not. They are only, they are only being a form of a common flag just to deceive people but they have hands in evil okay but they just use islam as a common flag okay so that nobody who knows what they are doing but in reality they are not following islam they are not following the religion of islam because they have hands in evil okay they have their own group that they use to foresee the effort of islam and that is what they were, they were doing you know this their shaman okay they are leaders they used to have their own gathering during the time of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where they discussed, whenever they were sitting in front of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he's addressing them, say Allah Akbar, you know they will be praising, but where is the Akhala ila shayatin? When they have returned to their evil gathering, call you, they will not be telling their people, do you think we are following Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Inna ma'akum, we are with you people, we are with you people, we are with you our leaders. We are not with Rasulullah Islam. We are not going there to hear what he's saying. Who will believe him? Just like us, they used to say about what? Abdullah ibn Salam, Wasabi and his companions. But they say they are fools. They insulted them, okay? Allah, Allah, Allah returned the, the, the insult back to them, isn't it? In our discussion yesterday. Yada Ali, I mean, Allah, Dina kum fisir. We are with you in your own deen. That is their own evil way. Okay, in secret. In the man, no mustazim. We are only mockery at them. Okay, we are only mockery at them. Yani bi Muhammadu alayhi salatu salam wa sabuhu bila ila ilaha. We are just watching on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam and his companions. Yani Abdullah ibn Salam and the rest. Umar ibn Khattab. Sayyidina Abakar, Uthman ibn Affan, Ali ibn Abi Talib, and the rest. Yes, we are just making, they are, mockery, they are actually mockery at them, but they are not with them. That they are with you people that are leaders. You are those that speak with our ancestors. So then, no matter what Rasulullah tells us, we will not leave you people. We are going to let us just go and hear what he's saying. They won't come back to you people, they will not sit down and discuss how to what to utter, to counter. His statement. And we know those who approach that they will not what believe and follow what he's telling us. You can see that. And this is what is still extended down to today. 
You see somebody that I say he claimed to be a Muslim. Wallahi, in reality, is not a Muslim. Are you getting that? He just following Muslim. But anything that is coming, when he look at that thing, you know, is affecting him or his way or his systems of life regarding to the evil that is doing in sin secretly, then you find one way or the other to what? To frustrate and discourage Islam or those leaders in Islam. Now, he said, Be Muhammad alayhi salat. That they actually mocking on Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and his companions, you know, with their La ilaha illallah. Now, who believe in La ilaha illallah? That there's no God but one God. There's no God but what? But one God. They said, you can see that kind of a statement. When they have 313 gods, Muhammad will not tell them to come and believe. In one word, what an insult. What an insult to Rasulullah is giving to us with the leaders of Makkah. This is a, a boy that they gave birth to him that he was brought up in our presence. And he's coming to tell us that we should come and believe in one God. When we have children at the God. It's not serious. Fella, who will never follow him? Allah said, you Muhammad, don't worry. Allah who will be him. Allah is going to mock them back. Allah is going to, you know, frustrate them. Allah is going to make sure He show them yani fi akhirat, yani yaftahu lahum baban illa janna, summa yudluku dinahu fa yastazihu bihi mukminu. Allah Akbar. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala on the day of Kiyama, Allah will open the door of paradise for them to enter. That is how Allah will mockery on them. Which is the, the most painful ones. Allah will leave them. These people that behave like they are Muslims, isn't it? But on the day of Kiyama, Allah will open the door of Jannah for them to enter. When they are they are about to enter, Allah will lock it. You can see. They will not know. All the game they are playing in this world, Allah says, Rasulullah, just be patient. Fast be rule in Allah Masabiri. Be patient. Allah is always with those who are patient. That is why we Muslims are patient irrespective of what Munafik are doing to us. Munafik are among those that are Muslims, the hypocrites. Those that display hypocritical attitude in the deen. Their, their aim is just to frustrate Islam. Are you getting it? They assume that they are Muslim. In an assumption, based on their attitude, their character, they will display that they are Muslim. But in reality, they are not what? They are not a Muslim. As a result of their, their hypocrites. The hypocrisy, the level of their hypocrisy in Islam, have even led some people out of Islam. By frustrating people, discouraging people, beginning in the without knowledge. Wallahudan, without, you know, a right guidance. Wallah kitab moving, and without a book of explanation. Without a clear evidence from a book to show that what they are saying is correct. You see different kind of attitude in Islam, different kind of uh, you know, activities in Islam going on without words, without evidence, without guardians. If you ask them, if you ask them where do they get this word, they will not have any reason to tell you. Rather than to tell you, this is what so so this person used to do, used to say. Sheikh so so this person used to do, used to say. If you ask somebody, why are you going for this? Why are you doing this? You will not have a clear evidence to give you from the Quran, either from the Quran or from the Hadith. But you see them spending thousands of naira in promoting that innovation in Islam. This is something they have used their hand to innovate it into it. Did. But it has no trace from the Quran and all from the lifestyle of our own Prophet Muhammad. So that is why Allah will now open, Allah will leave them to do whatever they are doing on earth. You know, Allah is as so good. Okay? Allah is patient. Whatever you are doing, Allah will be patient. I told the Rasulullah, say, Fasbiru ahlama atahumullah. Just be patient on what Allah has given to you. Yani al ilm. The knowledge Allah has given you, just work on that knowledge. Be patient with that knowledge. And forget about whatever it means. You have to continue to work to spread, disseminate the knowledge to people. And forget about what the Munafikun are doing. Okay? Now, Sumayyadluku, 
دونهم فيستعذبون بهم المؤمنون and after Allah locked the paradise of the locked the, the door of the Jannah then Allah will now open you know a place for the people in paradise to start laughing at them okay they will start laughing at them they will start make, making jests mocking at them at the what at the monarchy because they will not enter Jannah because they have destroyed many things in Islam. They claim to be a Muslim, but they have their own jihad, their own effort. It's those that are doing the writing in Islam. They try to frustrate and bring down their effort. Pretendantly, they'll be pretending to them whether it's alaykum wa salam alaykum wa But when they go back, they have their own group, they have their friends. Whenever Rasulullah preach to them, they'll take it back and go and retreat, retreat it, repreach it to people and turn it upside down. What did Rasulullah say to those people? Come and sit down. That boy, you know the fear person. Look at what he said. Look at what he said. <laughs> wow. This is the boy we brought up in this town. Now he's insulting us. No problem. We know how to do it. He has gained population. He have many people that follow him now. No problem. They'll sit down and discuss extensively how they'll turn that his message was upside down. And this is what is common in the society today. You see them. From one place to another, one person will leave his house to go and call another person or to go and meet another person. Have you heard what I heard? He said, What is that? Rasulullah said, said, Another revelation has come. This is what he said. What, how do we go about it? He said, No problem, let us go and meet with this person. He is very, very brilliant. He will give us an idea how to do it. By the time we we'll go and meet, meet him now, we we'll call other people. We we'll sat down. The whole day I meet him. They said, Ah, this one is very simple. This is how we are going to do it. Let us before him judge any. Pretending to him as if we are a believer, so that we'll be getting information. By the time we we'll open it to him, now it becomes a problem. And they encounter a lot of problems, led to many fights. Okay? During the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. fi tuguyanihim ya ma'hum. Yotarakahum fi dunya. Allah will leave them to do whatever they are doing in this world. Okay? Regarding to their what? Going against the admonition of Rasulullah. The message that Allah has sent to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To convey to them, maybe if they obey and follow, Allah will grant them Jannah. Fi kufrihim in their heart, in their disbelieving, wadalalatihim, and in their astray. Ya amahun, Allah yani yamdauna am yani yamdauna amhatun la yusibu. Allah will leave them with their blindness. They will be blind. They will not see. So I said, Sumu Bukum Omoyo, Fahum La Yerudu Om. Just like as they will be deaf, dumb, blind, and they can never return their face again. Okay, Allah will leave them. They will remain in that their world, their hypocrisy. Until you, they will not see the truth. They will never see any good ways that will guide them. Because those that are right people to guide them to the right path become their world, their enemy. They gossip against them. They discuss. They make jest at them. They mock at them. Are you getting it? Somebody will now say, this one is not good. This one is not good. Is it Allah? Allah did not judge his matter like that. Allah judged by heart. Who told you that Allah judged by heart? If Allah is going to judge by heart, why revelation? Why an inspiration to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Allah will be looking at your heart and judge you. Allah will not send any prophet again now. What is the meaning? What is the essence of sending message, messenger to you? What is the essence of revealing Quran to you as a book of guidance? Salam alaikum jamaa. I hope this is clear to us. If Allah is going to judge by heart, that is not by practical of what Allah the Rasulullah brought, brought, brought to you. Then what is the essence of Allah revealing the Quran? What is the essence of Allah sending 124,330 prophets from one generation to generation? Why is our prophet Nuh and Islam spent 950 years conveying the message of Allah and they keep making, making jest of him? They're punishing, they're frustrated, but he keep telling. What is the essence of that? If Allah is going to judge by <laughs> Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La tati min bani yadi wa la min khalati. Tenzilu min haki min hamid. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No single way, I mean in the Quran, that Allah commonized him. 
And there's no single place that Rasulullah have ever forged something on his own. And nothing will have, uh, has been uttered from the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the Quran. And inspiration was revealed to Rasulullah by praise and by Allah's wisdom. min Hakim al Hamid. It was revealed to Rasulullah by the Quran. Hakim as a book of wisdom. No matter the level of your wiseness, Quran will see what will bring you down and cancel you and treat you the way accordingly. Then Allah says, Ulaika alladheena ishtarawu dolalata bin huda. All of them that have engaged in this, you know, attitude. Alladheena ishtarawu dolalata bin huda. Those who have actually pushes, you know, wrong way against the right way. Those who have transact a business, they pushes, you know, what is not beneficial, what is not, you know, is not affordable. They pushes irrelevant things against what is relevant. No relevant statements, irrelevant act in the city of Makkah and Medina. They display what is not common, what is not useful. That is what they were key in doing against what, with what is what is approved and what is recommended to them by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Like Allah Dina Ishtarau Dalala Tabi Huda, and those who push error against the right path. Yani Ekhtar al Kufra ala al Iman. They pushes disbelieving against the faith. For them to believe in Allah, they choose to remain, you know, a disbeliever, going against the statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Whatever he told them, they turn it to upside down. Wabi al huda, they pushes, you know, away in the astray. The only way they pushes, they pushes, they pushes what? You know, a way in a street. Bama Arabia Tijara to him. What they were bargaining will not yield them any profit. Okay? Let me yerba u fi Tijara to Bello Hosser. All what they transact, all what they try to bargain in the course of that transaction, is nothing but what? But a loser. They will not gain anything rather than the what? The loon. From our kind of mountain. Mina Dalala. And they will not be guided to the what? To the right path. Or they will not find the guidance. They will remain in that astray. And when they return back to Allah on the day of Kiyama, what happened to them? Fafta Abwabu Jannata. When they die, whom I had the hollow, Fabula Katala Abwa. Allah opened the door of paradise and called them to come and enter. And in the process of going into it, what happened? Allah shut down the door of paradise. And yes, you know, and the believers, men and women in paradise world, who now mock at them, who laugh at them because they were laughing at them in this world. Allah say, in Alladina Ajra Mukanu min Alladina Amanu, Yeda Haku. Those people who have engaged in atrocity and evil. Claim to be a Muslim, a believer. They are, uh, they have, you know, they have engaged themselves in evil, misleading people. Claim to be a Muslim. They go to different channel to what to get power, to get protection in evil way. But they observe salat. They are, as we are fasting, they are fasting with us, isn't it? When we are giving zakat, they pay zakat. But they still have. Behind door, there's have a, a door that is behind them that they open an, a secret door where they go and visit Babalao to give them something that they put in their pocket so that their their, their business world will grow so that they will get more customer. If you are a Muslim that you are doing that, 
what you are, you are a monafic. And if you don't live that attitude, you will not enter Jannah. Except you have to repent. That is why Allah said, Inna ladina ajramu, and those that have earned themselves with the different evil, you know, activities. Whenever they have seen the believers, yet they are the what they make this other, they laugh at them. Imma al kufu, al munafik. These are those that disbelieve in Allah, or those that claim to be a Muslim, but they are not a Muslim in reality. Where they are, they are a poison, poison the heart of some Muslims. Okay. They are just like a scorpion biting people in in, in what in Islam. If they see that you want to you want to gain uh, a right guidance or you want to get somebody that will guide you to the right path, they will try to what they will pinch you or try to frustrate you so that you not go towards that way. Allah say, "Kanu min al ladina amanu yadakum." Whenever they have returned back to their place, they will sit down, they will eat and laugh. You understand? As if this word is in their hand. So Allah is also giving the description regarding to people, to those people. Now in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Masaluhum. Their likeness or their description, Masalu munafikina ma'a Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is the hypocrites. Who were with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, claiming to be a Muslim? Allah said their decision, "Kama sari ladi istawa kadamara." Just like you know, a group of people who can do what a fire. They gather a firewood and put fire while they are in the in the darkness. Awu kadamara fi zulmat, like ya manu biha ala ali wa mali wa nafsi, and thinking that that light. He is going to, you know, bright to cover, you know, their 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 family. That is their parents, Alihi, Womali, and their world, Wanafsi, and even themselves. Meaning, after they have kindled a fire in the darkness, there is a darkness. Allah is giving a parable. Okay, Allah is giving a parable here. Okay, Allah is giving a description that that they are likeness. The kind of person they are, their example, the example of them, Allah is making a parable with, with their attitude. Okay? Allah says just they are just like somebody or people who have kindled a fire. Okay? In the darkness. That fire so that they'll be they'll be able to see their properties, their family, everybody will be able to see each other and even themselves. Then after that, what happened? After the fire have you know have gained brightness. Yani istaudati wa raya ma haulahu wa amanu biha ala nafsi wa ali wa mali wa tafat nura. Faka dalika al munafikun amanu bi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are like the munafik, the hypocrites. Who believe? They say they believe in Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Quran, and the Quran. For Amanu bihi ala anfusihim. They say they believe by themselves, wa amwalihim, and also by their wealth, wa alihi and their people, mina sabi. Even from their prisoners. Wa qatala falema matu. And in this cause, they fight to extent just to gain respect and honor. Falema Matu, why they continue with this attitude and they now die, Zab Allah binurihi. Allah take away their what? Their light. That light that they candle, that was brightening, that they see everywhere. Allah is making a parable to their what? To their physical you know, attitude in reality. Allah is making a parable to it. Bimanfaatu imanahum, meaning Allah take away their feet. Are we together? Just like when Allah, you know, quenched the fire, so what happened? It remained what back to darkness. Remember, they were in darkness and they kept the fire. I mean, they're trying to understand Islam. 
But they don't allow Islam to assess them. Salam alaikum jama'ah. They were trying to understand Islam, but they don't allow Rasulullah to work to make them to understand Islam. Rather, they try to know, they give a room to shaitan to, mis to misguide them. Okay? Not to follow Islam properly. Claim to be a Muslim. You ask, ask somebody to wear hijab, to do this, to do that. Say, no, you cannot do it. Only Allah, Allah is, is aware of what is in, in the heart. In the heart. Go to Mosa and pray, say no. Go to Juma and pray, say no. So everybody can pray wherever he wants he be. What are the confused math? After Allah took the fire away, meaning after Allah took their faith away, Allah left them in what? In the darkness. I mean, Allah left them in what? In their hypocrites. That is what Allah is trying to tell us. Allah left them in what? In their hypocritical attitude. Fishada il kabar. Meaning, after they have died, if they continue with this character, this attitude, and death come to them, okay, and they have been buried, what happened to them? Allah will leave them in the darkness of the grave with what? With punishment. La yusirun. Raka abada dalika wa yukalu mitla hayi mislu yaudu ma Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What it means is that they are like the, how oh, their attitude after this, this thing that they have done on earth that led them to return back to Allah in the grave. Allah is going to punish them in the grave as a result of their what of their ignorance. Then Allah said, What it means is the Yahud, that is the Jews, with the Prophet. Which Yahud? You know, Abdullah ibn Salah was among the Yahud, isn't it? But he Islamized. And all his words accepted Islam. When Abdullah ibn, 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 ibn Salam was telling his people, admonishing them to come, they were insulting them that they are false. When Abdullah ibn Abakara and his companions were admonishing them to come into Islam, okay? Just like the way Abdullah ibn Salam come into Islam. He's not better able to, to follow, to just come and follow Islam. They said, <laughs> We cannot follow Islam just like the way the foolish ones went to join the people who cannot. So if they, as they continue with this attitude, they die after they bur they bury them. What are the consequences? Allah will leave them in the darkness in the grave. With what? With a severe punishment. Allah is mentioned of the old Ma Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now. As a result of that, Allah said, "Lana hum aradu an yumin bi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam," and Allah said, "This is because they want to believe, okay, in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam statement." Falam yuminu, and as they refuse to believe, watara kum fi zulmati fi dalalatihim, and Allah left them in their darkness as they are, you know, as a result of their astray. La yubusiru, yani huda. And they could not find a guidance again. They could not see the reality again. And that is what is happening to some people today. You see somebody claim to be a Muslim, but he hates Islam. Is it not happening? Somebody says he's a Muslim. When whatever Allah said, they are telling him he hates it. He doesn't want to implement it. When it's time for prayer, he says, go to mosque and pray. And he claimed to be a Muslim. And he'll be the one to even discuss Islam more than any other person. It's time for prayer. Go to Mos and pray. He say he doesn't go to Mos and pray. He can pray at all. Or anytime he lies, you go to Mos. He's not by force. Are we together? He claimed to be a Muslim. He's, we are in the month of Ramadan. They say fast. He said fasting is not compulsory. The way people are talking, he can fast at any time he likes. How can somebody fast for thirty days? So you don't offend any God. You don't offend God at all. So God, God will, will judge him according to his intention. He fast yesterday, he fast today again. He cannot do that. When I say go for Tarawi, he said for where? He will pray his own Tarawi at home. And his fatia is not correct. It's not a problem. So what you are, what, are, what do you think you are doing? Is it human commandment or Allah's commandment 
This is what has been recommended by Allah to you to do as an act of worship. You are going against it because of your because of your what? Astray. You are going astray. And this is exactly what the Tafsir is explained to us. That ignorance, arrogant in Islam, what he brings to you, you did lack and sabila. He mislead you away from the right path. And it makes Allah to take the light, the understanding of Islam away from you. You will not see what is correct, what is right, and you will never follow it and you ever follow it again. Anytime they are preaching to you, it's like they are disturbing you. Anytime they are counseling you to advise you, do this, do that, you look at it as a disturbance. The only thing Allah will left you inside is all the materialism that you, you, you feel to be enjoying them. Allah will give them, Allah will give you those things abundantly. This money you want, oh yeah, Allah will open the way of money for you. But remember, the Rahma of Allah will be taken away from you. That is why so many people, they fail to understand Islam. Those that are doing Islam, it's not, it's not so far they are suffering. All these malams and all those that say they are going, they will be going to mosque 100 times in a day. You see, by going to mosque, we that are not going to mosque, we are even making money more than them. Allah is blessing us more than them. You call it a blessing. It's a test. Whatever Allah gives you on earth is what? It's a test. And you'll be questioned by it on the day of award. Accountability. If you have one house, Allah will ask you how you got that house. On the day of what? Judgment. If you have a car, Allah will ask you how do you possess this car? Is it in a halal way or haram way? So when it, anything that Allah has provided for you on earth is a test on you. And they will ask you each and every one of, of those things on the day of Kiyama. May Allah provide halal things for us, but not the haram ones. As they continue with this attitude, Allah says, Sumu, let us some mamuna. Allah said, There will be what? There will be death. Bukumun, yet about Kamuna. And there will be what? Hmm? Dump. There will be death and dump. Omuyun, yet a amamun, yet a am, yet a amuna. And they will be blind. Meaning, they will not be able to hear what is correct from the statement of Allah and they will not like to enjoy it. And they will be blind never to see a reality, never to believe in Allah's will, except what their mind tells them or what shaitan, you know, put in their mind, in their thought. For whom? La yarbu'un. And they will not what be able to return their their face from that and in kufur him yani from their disbelief what the lot what him and they are astray how can say be mean as and just like the rain that come down from what from the cloud okay what the misl akhar yakunu misl al munafiqina yaudu ma al quran well, the Munafikin are the Yahud. They are the hypocrites and the what? The Jews. Okay, with the Quran. Kasayibin. That is the example. Their descriptions are like the hypocrites and the what? The Jews with the Quran. Kasayibin. Kamatarin. Nazala mina sama. Just like a rain. Which rain from what? From the cloud to the surface of the earth. Leilan. At the, in the middle of the night, Allah come upon his people. Female father in in what in the course of their benefit. Fihi, filayli, yeah, that night. Zulumatun in the darkness. Wara adun thundering. Wabarakun. Okay. And what? And bright brightening. The thunder and lightning. Okay? Wara Adun. 
You know, the thundering, Wabarakun, and the lightning. When the thunder and the lightning, you know, was actually talking from the sky. You know, when it's, when it, when it's raining heavily, you'll be hearing the thunder, okay, we'll be talking, okay? And you'll be seeing the lightning reflecting everywhere. كَذَلِكَ الْقُرْآنَ نَزَلَ مِنَ اللَّهِ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ بَيَانُ فِتَنِ the same thing is explaining that Quran that is revealed from Allah, you know, in the course of their being in darkness. When the Quran is coming to them, okay, they are in darkness. The Quran is coming like what a thunder and lightning as a warning to them. So that they, ought, they should be scared and return back to what? To Allah. Bayan al fitan Explaining the what? The fitna, the tribulations, and the thunder, jazra coming to scare them. That is the Quran is coming to scare them from what? From their mysterious attitude. So that wabarakun and also shining, lightning. The Quran is just like Allah is making it parable to the thunder and lightning. That what Quran is to them, yani what Rasulullah is preaching to them, the words from the Quran had and, and, and the statement of Rasulullah is like is like a thunder and lightning to them. What and they see the thunder by their eyes. Meaning when Rasulullah is preaching to them, the way he speak, the way he admonish. The way you address them, they're supposed to what? They're supposed to fear. But in their heart, in their heart, there's what? There's a, a, a disease. There's a sickness. No matter the thunder and the lighting that Rasulullah is, preach, is actually telling them, preaching to them from the Quran, they remain what? Adamant. يَجْعَلُونَ أَصَابِيَهُمْ فِي آذَانِهِ مِنَ السَّوَاعِكِ يعني من صوت الرعد they will put finger into their ears okay from what from the fear of that thunder and lightning حَزَرَ الْمَوْتُ also fear of death they will be scared afraid Meaning, whenever Rasulullah preached to them and his, he said, This is another revelation that have come to them regarding to their attitude. They say, Now, wow, Allah don't come. They will gather themselves quickly. They will be scared. They will be afraid. Whether that thing is going to happen or not. So they have to find a solution. They will be fighting God and his prophet. They find one way or the other to turn that statement upside down. The elders have to meet in the community. That this boy that called himself Muhammad must have to do something about him. Salam alaikum jama. They say this Muhammad that is coming up like this and he's saying he has one God. His own one God should be more than 313 gods that we have. We have to do a lot of sacrifice on him. We have to do many things on him. We must stop this, you know, message. This message that he's, he's bringing, we must have to, we have to stop it. So, whenever the Quran speaks to them, you know, they'll cover their ear, they'll be scared, they'll be afraid. So they have to run elta skelter to see how they can be able to what to utter that word. Makafatan al bawa eko wal mouth. They'll be afraid as that calamity of death. So that it you know what affect them. They don't want to die. So they have to go and meet their God. Tendering a lot of sacrifices so that what, what, whatever Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he is telling them, it will not what manifest on them. Kadalika al munafikuna wal yaudu kanu yajaluna asabiyahum. Likewise, the hypocrites and the Jews, they will put their fingers in their ear, fi adani him in Okay? From what? From the thunder and the lightning. Allah is still making a parable to their attitude. 
when it thunder and lightning, anywhere you are, fear will enter your being. Okay, you hear even the zinc will be talking. Boom! If you are inside, I see the release bomb. If you are outside, you run inside. If you are inside, you want to run out. Throw off. And the lighting that say pia pia. If if in fact you, you thought that is electric that is coming to shock you. Anywhere you are, you have to run. If you are eating food, you stop eating immediately. If there is water in your mouth, you throw that water away and run inside. Allah is making a parable to this. Min bayan al Quran. Allah says from explanation of the Quran. Wa 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 Allahu muhitun bil kafirin. Yani wal munafikun hayya alimu bihim. Wa jama'ahum fil nar. Allah said the hypocrites, hayy, the learned ones among them. Among the five people that were mentioned earlier. Wa jama'ahum Allah is going to gather them fil nar. Okay, and Allah is going to punish them. That is what Allah is trying to make us to understand. Allahu muhitun bil kafirin. Allah is going to what? Encompasses them. In what? In hellfire, Allah is going to punish them in the hellfire. May Allah save us from the punishment of the hellfire. Mm -hmm. So before Allah can save us from the punishment and the torment of the hellfire, we have to save ourselves and our family first. Where Allah says in the Quran, "Ya ayyuhal ladina aman ku ku anfusakum wa alikum nara." Allah says, "Oh you who believe in the Quran." Alladina amanu bi Quran wal Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam alladhi tu'minu bi Muhammad wal Quran those that believe in Muhammad and the Quran the book of Allah those that believe that Muhammad is the real messenger sent by Allah to the humanity and what Allah is give gave him to bring to bring to the humanity in the Quran ku anfusakum Allah said save yourself wa alikum nara and your people from what your family from the hellfire Alayha wa kudu an nas wal hijara. Allah said that fire is what is scheduled with what with what human being and stones. <coughs> Meaning that hellfire, the human being and stones, the mankind and stones are the fuel of the hellfire, of the fire. Allah said, that will kafirin. Allah said, we design it, we prepare it for the world. For the disbelievers, not the, 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 the believers. So any believers that find himself among the hypocrites that reject Allah's commandment, Allah's instruction, then certainly he will be among them. Allah said, in another sense, Inna al munafikina wal mushikina wal kafir na fi darik asfal min al nar wa lan tajira lahu nasira in another sura. Allah said, those that engage themselves as a Muslim with hypocritical attitude and the disbelievers and the idol worshippers, Allah said he's going to encompass them in where? In hellfire on the day of what? Recompense. Because see, that is why you must not joke in Islam. Don't joke with Allah's knowledge. Don't underrate Islam. And don't degrade Allah's knowledge. If not, you pay for it in this world, and on the day of Kiyama, you will be punished in the hellfire. There's no doubt about that. Allah told us, Allah said, Allah said, Enter Islam completely as a believer. Don't follow the world, the ways of Shaitan. Don't follow the attitude of Shaitan. Just like the Munafikun during the time of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Kafirun during the time of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Don't you, a believer, misbehave in Islam. Enter Islam from your head to toe. Because Shaitan, Allah said, A Shaitan adu fastezu adwa. Shaitan is your enemy and beware of him as your enemy. 
Now that's what I say, never you do shaitan. What shaitan wants from me is nothing. Are you okay about it? To cause locomotion, problems between you people. Well, bad and anger among you people as a result of that your attitude. So when you become the agent or the friends of shaitan, shaitan use you and dump you. Because shaitan will fear Allah. He fear Allah. Shaitan that is misguiding you, he fear Allah. He knows that Allah can deal with him at any time. And he had a covenant with Allah. That he will definitely get people. When Allah says he's going to throw him, Allah said that his base is going to be hellfire. Can he, can he dis, uh, disagree with Allah? Because he fear Allah. When Allah is praying from paradise, can he say no Allah or no leave? Are you getting it? Yes. For you to know that he fear Allah. In the same surah to Bakara, in the front, when Allah expelled him from paradise, can he say no? Who is he? When Allah said that his, his base is going to be hellfire, can he say no? The only thing he have to, you know, had a covenant with Allah, had a promise with Allah, that Allah, only me will not go. I will have to have a companions that will follow me. And I'm going to follow their front, their back, their left and right. I will make sure and they will not be grateful to you. And Allah told him, Ilai Barikal Salihim. Except those that are good ones among them. If you try them to fall down a hundred times, Allah will continue to rise them. Mean those that are committed in Islam. Shaitan try them, Allah rise them. And that is where some weak people among the Muslims, that is where they always, Shaitan make them to focus their target. Are, are, are you with me? So of you to pray for your leaders, for Allah to protect him. The leader pray for you, he preach to you, he guide you, admonish you, cancel you. He does many things for you, but you are looking for his downfall. You want him to act. So that you what you discuss about this matter. You are killing your faith. Then you are among those people who are like, you meaning you are hypocrites. The hypocrite ones are those that are looking down of their leaders in Islam. You say you are a Muslim, you have a leader. You are you are praying to see downfall of your leader. You are trying to expose the mistakes of your leaders. And your leader try his best to cover your, your, your own mistakes. Your, he tried all his best to pray for you. To do all his best to make sure that you enter Jannah. Teaching the knowledge of Islam. Make you to understand the in and out of Islam. And show you the way of paradise. From the Quran. But still, Shaitan said, no, don't listen to them. Listen to me. Don't listen to them, listen to me. I am a guy guardian. By the time you listen to shaitan and follow shaitan, then you will find yourself among the what? The munafikun. And if care is not taken, you go out of Islam and you find yourself among the kafiru. And these two people, Allah promised that they will be under the hellfire. The munafik will be under the hellfire before Allah will put the, the non-believers on them. Do you know why? They are Muslim. A munafik Somebody who is engaged in committing sin in Islam, gossiping against Islam, against the leaders of Islam, and those that believe in Islam, those that are practicing Islam, his own assignment and his own jihad that he's doing is how to frustrate the effort of Islam. That is all. Anytime you see him talking, he talk about this person, he talk about this person, you'll be the one to judge matter, be the one to correct this, how this one is good, how that one is not good, how that malam is like this, how this malam is like this, this one used to be like this, that is... But he will never talk about bad, bad people in the community. The same malams and all these people you are gossiping, talking about them. They are engaged in fasting, they are engaged in prayer. They are, at times they wake up in the middle of the night, they are reading Quran every day, they are teaching Quran to see that peace and tranquility is restored in the society. What have you done? The only thing you have to do is how to work to cause problems among the Muslims. Frustrating the Muslims that are coming up to learn Islam. So the same thing was done to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. How do you want yourself to be part of this kind of people on earth? 
is not advisable. May Allah guide us aright. Mm -hmm. A Muslim must be steadfast. A Muslim must stand up and remain on his feet by propagating the deen. Speak what is true and discourage what is wrong. Encourage people with what is correct and deprive people from evil and put your trust on Allah. May Almighty Allah continue to assist us and guide us to the right path, increase us in faith, and count us among those who have put their trust on Him. Amen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Naam, inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have control over all things. Min zahaba sami wal 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 basar. Min zahaba sami wal basar. Allah have control by taking their what? They are hearing away and they are seeing away. Al qadir. And he has the authority to do that. Then Allah is now in us. Maybe inshallah we'll stop here. When we are going to continue next time, we'll start from Ya you and Nas. When Allah is called upon the entire mankind. As after this matter has transpired. Okay? Allah will now call the entire mankind. By himself cancelling admonition. You, you are a Muslim, non-Muslim, Christian, whatever pagan, whatever your Allah is calling to tell you his position of Allah and what he expects you to do. And if you refuse to do it, what he's going to do to you. Inshallah, we'll stop here today. Anyway, we'll say correct. May Allah inshallah accept it from us. The one that we say wrongly is not from us for shaitan. May Allah forgive us. Subhanakallah mubiyamit. Mashara Allah stafuatu bilay. Subhanahu rabbi ka rabbi zeta maisfun. Wassalamu ala nusani. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. We are still calling upon people to come and rejoice with us. This is the month of Ramadan. We are expecting this month to be filled up with people so that we'll be able to listen to Tafsir. Listening to the words of Allah is very, very important. I see no reason why, I see no reason why a Muslim should not go out for Tafsir. Or a Muslim should not go out for lecture. But a Muslim can go out for business and other activities. SubhanAllah. Wallah is not encouraging. We have to think about it. Don't be among the Duyus. There's what we call a Duyus. Do you those are the lazy ones in Islam? Weak and lazy. They don't have time for Allah, but they have time for materialism, how to make money, how to enjoy life, how to do this. Yes, they will go. Someone can trek from here to Garaja Joshua every day because he wants to make money. But somebody cannot leave his house to come and listen to Allah's words. From here to Garaja Joshua, Allah can take whatever He gives you. Allah can take your life. Why are you going to explain to Allah? Rabbana Azalam Nafusana. وَإِلَمْ تَكْفُنَّا وَتَرْحَمْنَا أَلَّا نَكُونَ نَمْنِ الْخَاسِرِينَ رَبَّنَا إِفْتَعَ بَيْنَا وَبَيْنَا قَوْمِنَا بِالْحَكِّ وَأَتَقَارُ فَاتِهِينَ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةَ مَا يَسْفُونَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَى الْمُسَلِينَ وَالْحَمْدِ اللَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالِمِ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ ذَكُرُ اللَّهَ Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.